Oh my god, you look amazing. I I'm love that fat. What are you talking about? You're the most fit in my boobs done, so I can't work out for like seven weeks. So I haven't been to the gym in seven weeks. And you know when you don't go and you feel just flabby. Yeah, you feel. That's how I feel right now. I yeah, the exactly. You look great. How are you feeling yeah. there? You look good. <laughs> I love them. It's the best decision I've ever made because if I had to wear this, I would wear like a. Um, oh my god, what's it called? Um, like a padded. No, like a. Um, oh my god. No, like a bra without the straps. Oh, the a strapless bra. bra. Yeah, oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. I would have to wear a strapless bra, uh -huh. and that like weighs you down, and yeah, it's just now nothing. It's the best investment I've ever made. Well, clearly you had to wait till you had some time off because you've been busy. Uh, I mean, with the show, yeah, it was a little crazy. Yeah, so not gonna lie. I, so, did you get right down to the end? Um, I can't tell you, but I could tell you that it's a crazy, crazy season. Um, Everyone's a hot mess, which I love. So you know, I love everyone. At times, you know, I fought with a few people, um, but you know, you gotta save your own butt sometimes. So you kind of have to raise that voice and kind of be assertive, which I kind of don't like being now. Like, really? yeah, yeah, you've turned yeah. it down now that you're mom. Now that I'm a mom, you know, I think in the back of my head, right? What's what are my kids gonna think when they watch this? On Jersey Shore, I wasn't a mom then, so it's not like what are my future kids gonna think? Now it's just like, right, I'm on a show about business, and you're a mother, so kind of tone it down a little bit and not be so crazy. Did you surprise yourself? Um, yeah, honestly I did. I mean, I, I think I did an amazing job. Um, everyone, um, you know, thought I was just so nice and sweet, but when it came down to kind of throwing me under the bus, I was like back to Snooki and they were like, whoa! <laughs> so it kind of scared a few people, but um, you know, when I got to do it, I got to do it. Oh, did, this, did the governor scare you at all? The governor terrified me. You're actually going to see our first boardroom. I'm shaking like a maraca because I'm so <laughs> nervous. When I get nervous, I shake. Like a chihuahua. And I'm shaking. And they're like, are you okay? I'm like, I'm so nervous. So after the first boardroom, I actually requested a glass of wine before to calm me down. And it worked, thank God. But I just, you know, the boardroom felt like you were in a principal's office and you were scared to get, like, suspended. Had you watched the show before? Um, no. So when they asked me to be on the show, I actually binge watched the okay. season prior, and I'm like, oh crap, this looks so scary. And the fact that what Arnold was going to be on it, yeah. he's even more scarier. Really? So I was going like, to ask, Ugh. what's the difference between uh, Donald Trump as the boss and Arnold Schwarzenegger? Arnold's the freaking Terminator. Like he'll kill you. Well, now Trump's the the president. So I don't know. <laughs> uh, I mean, I think term or Terminator, the Terminator. <laughs> Arnold definitely scares me more as a boss. Okay. So, um, yeah, just going into it, I was already scared. All right, fair enough. And, and now we hear that Trump is the uh, executive producer of the show. What does that yeah. mean for you guys? Do you have any involvement with him? Or no? Yeah, I mean, I'm not like a producer or anything. I'm just there to be there. So, um, you know, it's what he's done prior to being the president elect. So, you know, it just makes sense because that was his job before. Um, but yeah, I was just there to be a hot mess. So, I don't know anything. <laughs>